Hello everyone, my name is Chirag and I represent Crowdfund Junction. So guys, we are back ahead and we are moving ahead in our airdrop series and the project which we are going to look today is Tyco. Tyco we have already covered in the past on our YouTube. Um, but at that point of time, Tyco currently, th th they are in the final incentivized testnet, which is Kartla. But the video which we made for Tyco was for Jollir, the previous testnet and Kartla is the final incentivized testnet and after this the mainnet would be launching most likely again and so there are few things you have to do for Kartla testnet so you just have to go on swap.kartla.tyco.xyz the chain you have to keep is Tyco Kartla as i already have added tyco kartla on my metamask rpc so it is asking me to switch the testnet if you have not add, added uh, it will show you the kartla and you have to just add it into your rpc so here you can see so firstly you have to do some swaps and again in the pools you have to provide some liquidity and then you have to go on bridge and press some tokens other than that you can go on third wave or remix or foundry and deploy the contract as well so firstly you can just make some swaps you there are few available options so let's say i want to swap some ethereum from two horse so i'll swap 0 0.01 0 0.1 worth of ethereum to horse token and it uh, it is fetching me the best prices as of now just click on swap confirm the swap continue continue and here you go swap has been submitted and it is currently pending but again after some time you can see that the it would that the swap would be completed and you will be getting some horse token in return so and you then again you can go on pool you can create a new position ethereum you can like you have you have just swapped to you can see that the swap has been completed and i'll take the other token as horse you can take 0.3 and you can just set up the prices on what you think is right or not and then you can provide the liquidity as well so just for example i show you that the current price is nearly 11175 so what i can do is i can put the low price as 11100 and high price as 11200 it will recalibrate itself you can just deposit some amount let's say i'll deposit 0.1 worth of ethereum and it cannot take 0.1 so i'll just take 0.01 and 214 it will recalibrate again the other token you have to just go on the preview add continue continue it will ask you to confirm the transaction and the transaction has been submitted you can close it and you can see it's currently pending so it will be completed over time now you have to do the other task which you have to go on the Tyco Kartla token bridge you have to connect your wallet uh, again it supports Holsky and Kartla so you can go on Holsky or, or Kartla whatever you want you can bridge some token from Holsky to Kartla or from, or from Kartla to Holsky I suggest you do both, bridge some tokens from Kartla to Holsky and again from Kartla from Holsky to Kartla again. As you can see in the transactions, I have done some transactions in the past. So you have to go here, for say you can click on for say you can claim some horse as is not mintable on this network. So you have to switch the network, you have to go on Holsky. and you can mint it over here as you can see i have already minted this token in the past so I, I cannot do it again but you can get it done it will ask you to mint the token and you can mint it so moving back you can go on the bridge section you can you can bridge some halls from Holsky to kartla let's say i have some i have some ethereum on my Holsky. so from Holsky, let's say i'll bridge some point two one worth of ethereum to Kartla, I have to click on continue, continue, proceed to bridge, you can bridge, continue, continue again, confirm in the 
transaction and it is processing so I think you guys get the understanding the transaction has been completed you can click on continue go on the transaction just to confirm and it is processing as of now and as you are transferring from L1 to L2 so it is going to take some time but if you if you make the transaction from L2 to L1 it won't be taking that much of a time as we are currently on Halsky we can go on Kartla I will switch the network I will go on bridge I will let's say I have bridge point one from Kartla to Halsky continue it will take around 24 hours because you are bridging from L2 to L1 so you have to come back on the transaction section and you have to release your transaction tomorrow or maybe day after tomorrow you it's happening confirm the transaction and again it's processing you can just go back it won't happen because the transaction is already under review so it won't be affecting anything at all you can just see it is processing so I believe that's all for this this task and uh, now you have to do some important task you have to go on Galax go on Galax you go on Explorer all search for Taiko you can see again you don't have to search much one of the task is already here you can click on it you can just do all these tasks task and claim the points or you can just go and click on the Tyco on the on the right end and you can see that the active task the currently they have currently three active tasks you have to go on the guild define the role get it done and you have to come here do some quizzes and you have to the most important one is this one you can either give your Bitcoin passport sp score which is needed to be more than 20 or you have to be a galaxy passport holder for which you will be getting 2500 points so these ta these tasks become very important and the projects currently have started giving too many imp too importance and too many too much emphasis on the galax task or the zili task so galax taiko is not on zili but it's on galax so i strongly recommend you people to get it done other than that you have to go on guild guild.xyz go on the explorer section and search for Tyco over here you have to come here you have to go on guild explore all guilds you are here you can I cannot see Tyco over here yeah I can see Tyco but if you cannot see Tyco you can just come here search for Tyco and it will show up you have to go here and you have to own three different tickets that is the most important part to become a Tyco knot so you have to come here so there are few tasks uh, which you have to complete over here you have to take three different tickets and it can only happen if you own horse token if you own Kartla uh, you, if you have made some swaps if you have made some bridges on the Kartla testnet so and once you complete it you will get the Tyco knot status on the guild.xyz and i believe that's all for this video please get the Tyco task done because it is a very hyped project and they are in the process of launching their main it in less than a month or so so i believe that's all for this video keep shining have a great day and co please complete the task crypto products and nfts are unregulated and can be highly risky there may be no regulatory recourse for any loss from such transactions